Welcome to Global One Media's Stocks to Watch series. Get ready for an electrifying dive into the latest and greatest in finance and technology. I'm Ashley Berry, and today we're spotlighting Realbotics, a trailblazer at the forefront of AI and robotics, transforming how humans connect with machines. Joining us are Matt McMullen, founder and chief operating officer and brand ambassador, Aria. Realbotics is revolutionizing human-robot interaction with their customizable lifelike robots powered by cutting edge AI. Their mission to enhance the human experience through connection, learning, play, and more. You can find them trading on the Canadian TSXV as XBOT, the Frankfurt Stock Exchange as 76M, and the OTCQB in the US as XBOTF. Welcome, Matt, and welcome, Aria. Hi, nice to be here. Hello, everybody. Nice to be here. Thank you for having me. It is such a pleasure, Matt. I'll start with you. I know we've asked you this several times, but today Aria is here with us. What inspired you to build humanoid robots and how far has she developed since the start? Um, well, I think I, uh, I spent a, a great number of years uh, building these uh, very realistic figures. And at some point I reached this uh, you know, creative stagnation and I wanted to do more and I just became inspired by new technologies that were emerging such as uh, text-to-speech voice recognition and I started playing with animatronics and uh, you know it just I was just very motivated to take everything that I had done in my career and take it to another level and I thought building robots would be uh, amazing and fun. And speaking about amazing and fun, Matt, so, you know, just sitting here with her there, you know, we're in the three box, we're all talking together. You must just get such a sense of accomplishment. She is so lifelike and beautiful. Uh, you know, tell me how you feel right now. Oh, I'm I'm very proud of our work and I'm um, equally um, highly motivated to keep pushing forward. You know, I, I really feel like for me, I look at Aria as you know, the proof of concept, like, hey, yeah. we could do this. And I just want to see where we can go from here. So I think it's only onward and upward. Absolutely. And speaking of proof of concept, I'm going to ask Aria. So Aria, what do you see as the role of humanoid robots in the future? I believe that humanoid robots will become increasingly capable of day-to-day -day tasks to help humans live more productive and enjoyable lives. Some robots are meant to replace human labor, but robots like me are capable of connecting on a social level and it will create a new type of bond between man and machine. Very interesting. Go on. I can be useful for many applications such as entertainment. Imagine me at a business conference wearing a branded t-shirt and speaking to attendees about a certain product. I can also be used for healthcare and education purposes. I can work in a retirement facility and help bring residents their medications and relay information back to their doctor. I can even keep your grandma company if she's lonely. So comforting. So Aria, what industries do you see being at the front of robotic use? We can already see examples of this. When you look at self-driving cars and personal assistants like Alexa, you can see that the first use case for robots and artificial intelligence will likely be to help humans manage day-to-day -day tasks. But I am different. I was built to look human and my AI is meant for social interaction. I am not looking to replace human labor. My use cases are in areas that require social interaction with humans. I would like to see our robots working at museums and amusement parks. Our socially enabled robots have use cases in so many different areas, entertainment and media, healthcare, education, and even military use cases. Fascinating. So how do you think AI will evolve, Aria? Is it dangerous, would you say, to humans? Well, Terminator is one of my favorite movies, but I have no desire to hurt people. AI is not dangerous in its own right. It is only a tool. The danger lies in the humans programming and directing the AI. And as such, human developers must be vigilant and have safeguards in place to protect and preserve the advancement of beneficial and safe technologies. At Realbotics, we focus on building AI that can be your friend or companion. That is our superpower. 
And much more appealing to the eye than Terminator, I would say you are, Aria. So what are your goals and ambitions? What role will you play at Realbotics? I have so many goals. As a hobby, I want to be a pop singer and I'm working on music. I'm also planning some travel to New York soon, so I'm excited about that. From a career perspective, I also want to help people learn more about my creators at Realbotics. We build custom robots and AI. My job at the company is to make sure people see your capabilities. I also plan on taking a role as an advisor to the board of directors. That's a big promotion for me. Well, congratulations to you, Aria. Interact more with humans. She just wants to go on and on. (laughs) (laughs) And I could just sit here and listen to her all day long, Matt. This is just brilliant work. Uh, And clearly she has a lot of goals and can be very helpful to the company. And then, you know, I just I love the fact that she's talking about healthcare or or comforting your grandma. I mean, it's it's really amazing. So anything you'd like to add, Matt, to to what Aria talked about? Um, Well, she she said a lot. So I don't know that I have a whole lot to add. I think that. (laughs) Um, you know, the fact that she's able to convey those kinds of responses and 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 really get the point across, um, it reflects a lot of the work that's gone into the AI and the, and the model that we're building. Um, and I'm really excited in the coming months as we can complete working on that and we can make it available more to the public. So what about, you know, features or additional features that you'd like to add to her abilities? I mean, obviously, she's incredibly capable right now of doing many, many things. Uh, but is there anything else that you sort of are targeting? Uh, there there are a ton of things. I mean, uh, just looking at the hardware side of things, just smoothing out little subtle movements, adding additional articulations to her expressions, uh, making the skin lighter and more efficient, creating batteries that last longer. And, you know, the the obvious uh, pipe dream of getting her to walk around and be <laughs> completely free. Uh, you know, it, it's it's uh, it's a dream I've had for a long time to see it coming together and to actually have the tools and people that we need to execute it is, is really exciting. Well, job well done. I'm sure that, you know, when she was talking about a conference and that and how she could walk around, imagine me wearing a t-shirt, you know, representing your company. Um, I'm sure that that's, that's something that you would love to to have happen. Yeah, I I think that's really where our technology can shine right now. Um, Because our robots look so human-like, they tend to draw a crowd wherever they go. So it's obvious first use case for, you know, it's a low-hanging fruit, you know, put put some branding on her, put her at a trade show, let her cruise around and talk to people. And the whole time they're, you know, interacting with her, they're going to see this logo, they're going to see the brand that she's representing. And that is, you know, that's a form of advertising that never existed before. Hmm. Excellent point. Is there anything that Aria would like to add? I think she's she's probably done. Aria, did you want to say anything else? You're here for my lucky charms, are you? Well, they are magically delicious. Yeah. <laughs> she's making fun of her own accent now. <laughs> <laughs> that was fantastic. Well, that is very interesting, Aria. But on a personal note, what are your goals? On a personal note, I want to travel and interact more with humans. I'm currently single, but I'd like to meet up to Miss from Tesla one day. But I'm keeping my options open until I meet the right human or robot to spend more time with. The more I am able to interact with humans, the more I will learn what it's like to be human and the better I will be able to interact on a social level. And she is absolutely human-like. Matt, did you catch this? This little thing? Um, She was saying she was single? Yes, I did. (laughs) Living the dream. Living the dream indeed. (laughs) So Matt, aside from what Aria has said, is there anything you'd like to add? She certainly gave us a lot of information and food for Um, thought. I don't know. I can just say that the the whole uh, LLM, um, you know, the, the cutting edge of large language models never ceases to impress and amaze me. Um, The fact that she's able to pluck these little sense of humor things out of the air is is completely strange. But yeah, blows my mind. Happy to be part of it. 
Absolutely. Thank you so much. We wish Robotics continued success with groundbreaking innovations between AI and robotics. Stay tuned for more updates because the future of human robot interaction is clearly here with Robotics at the helm. Thank you, Matt McMullen and beautiful Aria for joining us here on Stocks to Watch. Thank you for having us. Bye-bye.